Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. As you can see, matching today. Wasn't completely matching before the video, but, you know, decided to do a little something for you guys. So anyway, in the last episode, we uh, finished our um, the set of uh, islands, the uh, Ice Mountain and Fire Mountain, to get the power bracelets and the uh, iron boots. And in this episode, we will be uh, taking on our first dungeon uh, using one of those two items. But before we do that... See, we gotta go visit Beetle's alter ego here. Get another treasure chart. I believe there's. Let's see. Bye. Bye. All right. So then that heart piece is like 950. I want to say. Yeah, I'm gonna check. This is this is how you know if I'm if I'm a true like Zelda nerd or Zelda fanatic. It says open price right now. Let's see what it is. Nine fifty. Yes. Come on. This and this isn't even my favorite Zelda game. I mean, don't want to brag, but oh, what the heck? Who am I kid? Actually, before we go and take on uh, one of those dungeons, I do want to go ahead and knock this out because we are going. Like I said, we're buying those things from uh, Beetle, like the Masked Beetle, and we've already bought the second bottle, and uh, just now we bought another treasure chart, which, speaking of which, we need to... I wish there was a way that I could, like, show this to you guys. I don't think it'll let me. No. But, um, let's see, treasure chart four is what it was. So, what we're going to do, let me see if I have any others that we haven't opened yet. No, that seems to be it. Okay. But yeah, we're only going to come back here one more time uh, to get the piece of heart. So, we want to go ahead and get this little grotto out of the way so what you want to do is just hold this till it's flashing really quick they actually blow up slower on, in this game than in Ocarina of Time there we go so you wait till it's flashing like when it starts going fast one two like it'll start to grow like you'll see the bomb like actually physically get bigger and that's when you hit the A button. But, like, you have to be quick about it. Because it's not too long after it starts growing like that. So. Actually, it might be, like, just before it starts growing. Maybe if it starts getting bigger, you're actually too late. Let me test it real quick no I'm right as soon as you start seeing it get a little bit swollen then you just hit A let's say to reach western fairy island head west from here seems fairly straightforward alright we got a dark room here. Oh my. Alright, let's see. We should be able to...
I'm just gonna stand in place and spam uh, spin attacks. Which, if you don't know how to do that, um, you don't have to hold down the B button. Um, you can just, if you quickly spin the uh, thumbstick and hit B, then you'll do a, a quick spin. Okay. See what goodies we got. I'm pretty sure we don't really need any of this. Oh, hey, buddy. Holy crap, there's like a lot left. Is that it? Yes. Get out of there. Alright. What we got? Another treasure chart. Alright, sticking with the theme. Cool. Alright, anyway. Now that that's out of the way. Um. Yeah, onward to our first. Our first temple. And for those of you that may, um, or, well, anyone that is following along with the story so far, uh, bear, you know, be patient with me, um, while I catch everybody else up, the, um, oh, crap, skipped a place, alright, hold that thought, but, um, Anyway, yeah, so we're where we are in the story right now um, We got the master sword from the Temple of time which was underneath the sea, right? It was like frozen in time and all that jazz We got the master sword which the forsaken fortress tried to defeat Ganondorf He he made us look like a joke. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, but it's not our fault. The Master Sword was not, um, it had lost its power. And so now we are going to find out what happened to the other sages who are supposed to be praying to keep the Master Sword. Uh, crap, I keep hitting the wrong button. Yeah, to keep the Master Sword. At its full power, there are three sages. There are there's the wind sage, the earth sage, and um, I believe the other sage is just um, I know it's not a sage; it's like the actual hero of time from Ocarina of Time. Um, who split the Triforce into eight pieces. So we have to get both of the sages to bless the Master Sword as well as find the other uh, shards of the, the Triforce of Courage. So that'll, if we do all that, it'll make three. And let's go ahead and uh, get this piece of our map here. Usually do better about... Here, where is he? There he is. Usually do better about filling out the map, but... Alright. Come on, bud. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, wait, small fry. Thinking you want to get into that cave, small fry? The one that's protected by the crazy winds on that island? <laughs> okay then, let me just tell you a little secret. You go five squares south and one square east from here. You'll reach Ice Ring Isle. 
where you'll find an item that will make you as heavy as stone. If you get that item, you won't have to worry about getting blown over by winds. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Well, you know what? I don't know whether I hate to break this to you or whether I'm happy to let you know, but we are two steps ahead of you. Because we have the... We are heavy as stone as well as powerful as... I don't know. You can actually get up here uh, without the boots. It's like a... I wouldn't really call it a speedrun tactic. I mean, it does take a little bit. But just to, like, prove it to you. See, like, right now I'm not wearing the boots, okay? Like, I'm moving around. So, like, what you gotta do is, like... Uh, you gotta get up here, you gotta... Pause. All right, let's hang on. Yeah. Ah, well, you see, oh, but you see, I'm getting close. I've I've never actually like I haven't practiced this uh, speedrun strat enough, but. It's possible. Just know that. <laughs> There's, um... Uh, believe it or not, I actually know more, um... Super Mario... Uh... Speedrunning routes and... Uh, tactics than I do Zelda. Alright. So, we got this big empty room. Big, giant, pretty slab. We see... see, what is that? Let's see. A violin. Okay. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, we might as well get the song while we're here. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Okay. Thumb slipped off, I almost missed it. You learned the Wind God's Aria. Um. Are you the new hero? I am Fado of the Kokiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can oft deceive. I am a most esteemed sage. I had been praying here so that the power to repel evil would continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But, I was attacked by the evil Ganondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? Um, yeah. That's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Well, in that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold, and teach him the song you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the holder of the instruments will feel the blood of the sages awaken within his veins. That wind waker you hold was used long ago to conduct us sages when we played our song to call upon the gods. In those days, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please, tell the king that I will still play, even in the next world. Oh. See, this is proof. Proof they could have kept the Gokiri. Little known fact about me. Um, I doubt, I don't think anyone, I don't know if I've 
talked about it before. So I, even if you are a long time viewer, you probably don't know this about me, but um, I am not a fan of the Koroks. Like, I mean, not to say that they're not cute. You know, they're okay. But I, maybe it's just Ocarina of Time being my first game, or maybe it's just because I think it's kind of stupid to change it. But, uh, whatever. Because it, it ruins the whole, like, lore, you know? Like, the the whole idea is that, um, the Kokiri don't age. They stay children forever. And so it's like... They're supposed to stay children forever, but for some reason now they're... Not even... Kokiri? They're Korok, like it's a different species, and they don't look human, and they don't, they can't be classified as children, because they don't look human, I don't know, the whole thing is just like, I don't know, it, not like it made, you know, great sense to begin with, but, at least, it would have been consistent, <laughs> but, I digress. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, before we go this way, let's see what's in this submarine. But we haven't really been uh, visiting the submarines, and that is a mistake because there are some goodies in. Oh. oh, great. Come here! Gosh, the, he was like a freaking bug. Come on, a couple more. Is that it? They said that's it. Come here! Stupid freaking. Done? Yes? Thank you. Oh, man. Joy pendant or treasure chart? What do you want to bet? For those of you that said treasure chart, good job. Even I didn't know. For those of you that said joy pendant, I don't blame you. It seems like the kind of bullcrap challenge that wouldn't lead to anything valuable. But don't worry, that treasure chart's going to take us to another spot where we are going to get a cool 50 rupees. So, basically not, you know, valuable. Just not immediately. Oh my. Alright, um... Those boats that you see, that we've, we've actually been, like, sailing past them. I haven't taken uh, too much time to stop and um, wage war against them, but uh, we will... We will make them our focus eventually. Because they do play a role. 
Another one. DJ Link. Alright. These appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Just like the other one said. Down, down. This is my favorite one. Which is why this is the one that we're going to do first. Text to me, people. A great hero, chosen by the Master Sun. My name is Laruto. I'm a Zora Sage. For an age I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Soul. And yet, unfortunately, due to Gandalf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Gandalf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in the temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations. But the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage, and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. She seems much more majestic than, uh, Fido. Or, Fado. Yeah, it was Fido, right? No, I think it was Fado, because I'm pretty sure Fido is like a dog's name. I don't know. But, uh. Doesn't say Kingly Guy. Alright. Let's see. All right. Back at good old Dragon Roost. And, I don't know if you would consider this a good thing or a bad thing, but this is not going to be the last time we come here. What up, ma'am? Listen, man, you don't want those native islanders, are you? Why? The problem is, I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get up there. I've got a job interview. Is that all you say? Yeah, figure. Alright. Do, 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 do. Alright, we're going to need, I believe, this. Can I reach that? No. Wait, wait, wait. Let's 
Let's be smart about this now. Oh, I would have popped off if that worked. Okay. We'll go around. You may have heard um, some... I don't know what you'd call it, like a... Rhythmic... Uh... Tympotic? I don't know. Like, strumming? Of some kind of loot? There it is again. You can hear that song coming from up on the cliff, can't you? Mmm, such a beautiful tone. Medley's really gotten good. What? Sorry. <laughs> oh my. Before we talk to her, I want to go ahead and get this uh, part done. Well, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I actually don't um, completely know why you can go up here. I don't know if I figured it out myself yet. Because I can't like, reach over there or anything. I at least get this like 20 rupees. <laughs> Trying to like, I'm using motion controls, so don't make fun of me. Oh crap. Don't make fun of me. I know that I look silly. <clears throat> Come on, darn. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No. Alright, screw it. <laughs> oh, jeez. We have fun. Why do I think, like, is it weird that she's kind of cute? Even though she looks like a duck. Oh, Link, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. Hmm. <laughs> Well, um, I'd better continue practicing so I can be useful around here, too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. I'll conduct for you. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow! Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. Alright, so... The... What is it? Earth Ghost Lyric. There you go. Alright, ready. Favorite favorite song in this game. Take it away, Madman. Hmm. What a mysterious song. It sounds so familiar. Almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Uh, oh, I feel <sighs> I love the freaking uh, sacred, er, yeah, sacred realm music, or the temple of time music. Oh, 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 oh.
Just now a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something... Something that I must do. Link, thanks to you I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please. You must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali. I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. All right, so now we got Medley with us, and you heard her. We gotta take her straight to the Earth Temple, but we'll be doing that in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new, uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you don't like the videos, then you can always unsubscribe later. Okay? So. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.